sat right for the most part, except that this hook is deeper than the hole. So there's a little regrouping going on because the way it's positioned, we may have to redesign the whole top part where the pin goes um, in order to get it into the tractor hook properly because then if we make those plates on the side too long, they start hitting the bolts for the hook anyway. So we're going to come back to this. You apologize. I was running live on my other device and then my dad was working on trying to finish up the hitch that I had started this morning. Because it gave me opportunity while he manufactured some of the pieces it was going to need, then I could get some work done on the horse trailer. So this is the finished hitch. Uh, I had to weld in this section here, and then he had to build it some new plates that had the appropriate size hole for the pin because the gapping from the factory for this space here was too narrow and the hook wouldn't fit through. So... He found some scrap pieces out back, fabricated the arms that we needed, and then I went ahead and welded them on. Which, not my best welds, but whatever. It'll work. It's farm equipment. Because what I really want to work on is over here, and I want to get some of the roof anchored in good with the new metal screws. I just put the load locks in to support the roof while I'm up there. Because while the weather's still holding, I want to get out here and pressure wash the rest of all of the uh, stripped off portions so that I can start putting some seals on it. So that you can hear me while I'm up there because I can't take this up there with me. Do -do 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 -do. And then grab my little girl because it's easier for me to hang on to and see about putting some screws in the support. It looks like they've fallen out. <sighs> oh, I need to get a wire brush before I get too far ahead of myself because I got to clean those spots off a little better. Ooh, scraper. That was the other thing I was going to grab. Because I really want to make sure that those grommets sit good and tight to the surface so that I don't have any more leak issues before I paint everything. And then that'll help seal it all in. And yes, I did the safe thing, and my ladder is actually bungee corded to my load lock. It's got enough pressure on it. Keeps my ladder from accidentally falling down while I'm up here when I try to get down. Because I didn't want to use the extension ladder. That was a little freaky. And this is why I'm using those load locks to hold that piece up tight. Do something like that. I was just hoping the screws were going to be able to pop them out just fine because they were so old and rusted. These are pretty crumbly. I don't know how long these will last, but at least it's something for now before I seal her. <laughs> Come on, let go.
try and give it some cushion with the vibration to keep a seal. Get on there. I like using my little drill because it's easier, but I'm going to have to go with the big one for a while. Before I climb all the way up there, I'm going to go grab my energy drink too. Don't mind the dogs running around. I'm hoping they don't run into the stand down there. I know the noise is probably terrible. I'm like, well, a lot of these the the little heads on them they're they're busted off already so i will when i get down to just the ones that um have the heads because most of them i'm just popping them right off so it's a lot of just punching them out right now that was my dad my brother look on the underside anyway so where did that other broken piece go not sure it's okay i need to take those screws down anyway i don't know why this thing's wobbling so much it's on stands Oh, uh, well, yeah, because it's just an old trailer and it's wobbly. Okay. <laughs> Take the 
you down. <laughs> well, let's see if there's any comments. Okay. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Hey, Robert. Why can't you read them? Get someone to read them. Well, that's rude. Let's see. Scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling down. Liked. Awesome. Appreciate all the likes, you guys. That's that's absolutely awesome. <laughs> Because if anybody has been watching anything to do with my content, uh, I do everything myself. Even when family's around, I only ask for help when I absolutely need it. And that means I'm not going to have them stand here and read off random, inconsistent comments. Thank you. Appreciate that. El Lalo. It's very nice of you. Christopher, really? Never trust anyone with green hair. Um, well, it's not green, so sure, let's not trust anyone with green hair. The trailer is being um, converted into a utility and storage because U-Haul trailers are really expensive when you try to buy one, because I don't want to rent, I want to own one. And if you get something that is designated as, sorry, I'm gonna rub the mic for a second. Um, if you get something that is designated as a cargo trailer, they have a tendency to jack up the prices on them. And this whole thing I got roughly a thousand dollars. And I can make it the way I want it. So one half of it's gonna be open all the way to the floor so that I can put bigger items in. The other half is going to have full shelving. Uh, one, the smaller door, because this is a three horse um, straight load. So it's pretty wide. It's literally the size of one of the bigger U-Haul trailers. So one half where the smaller door is, I'm going to go ahead and weld it in. And actually, I know the dogs are running around. But I'm going to walk around back here so you can see the inside of it. Now I have everything pretty well pulled apart right now. And I'm pretty much just, uh, oops, bump, bump, bump. Sorry, you're still on the tripod. So these front divider that were for the manger and the mangers, I still have to remove because I want those open so I can get to items from the front. It does have the front door, which apparently has closed itself again. But um, I wanna make sure that I don't have all three mangers in it anymore so I have access. It has a walkthrough in the front so I can get in from either side. But this, where you see that pole right there, I haven't cut out the rest of yet. That's actually the section that's going to be completely closed in. It's going to have shelves all the way to the front. Okay, I'm probably going to walk you guys back into the same spot. It's really the best view. <laughs> It's a decent little trailer, but I mean, you can see it's got a rust hole there started. There's even a bigger one on the other side because they use C-channel. And when the screws fell out of the C-channel, um, they act like gutters and it was collecting all of the water so that it was pooling where it attached to the frame piece that's in here. And so it was pooling in that spot so badly it actually rusted out on both sides on the side paneling. So that is gonna get um, spray foam, expanding foam, um, sprayed in there and then I have patch that is specific for metal patching um, basically it's tape but you can stick that to the bare metal and you can actually paint over the top of it so it'll actually make everything look pretty close to seamless for wherever I have to put that tape on all of the marker lights I've already removed as you can see but there's obviously there's holes because these were so old that these were the aluminum body style and they actually riveted them on. So there was no changing them out without drilling them out. So those are gonna be 
I'm hoping I can reuse those holes, but with the newer setups, they're a little bit bigger and I'm probably gonna have to patch those holes and put a rubber backing behind the um, plastic frame piece for the light itself so that it's got more coverage for waterproofing. Are you guys able to hear me okay on the microphone? Oh, good. Thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate the answer. <clears throat> well, trolls be trolls, you know. It's funny because the more trolls you get, it actually gives you a lot more exposure. So if the trolls want to be on there being jerks, pfft, whatever. As long as they're not being racy or causing problems with the rest of people putting comments up, I really don't care. Otherwise, they get blocked. Wow, 1,400 likes so far. I haven't even had you guys up for half hour yet. Awesome, guys. I really appreciate the support. This has been a huge effort on my part just because I've got um, physical issues right now that I'm trying to deal with. So I get out here as quick as I can when the weather cooperates. I get as much done as I can tolerate, and then I got to take a couple of days off again just because my shoulders are so bad. Surgery is supposed to be the beginning of next month, so that's progress, I guess. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to being laid up for that long, but I've been laid up and tinkering since September because they keep readjusting my appointments. So it's been a long drawn out process trying to get my shoulders looked at. So I'm gonna keep doing what I can in the meantime. I don't know if you guys, can, you guys can see, probably not very well, but there's a lot of rippling going on. And that's actually where I think originally that side had a door and that is an extra panel somebody put in is my guess. I'm not sure. I have no brand name on this trailer. It didn't come with a VIN. It didn't come with any identification tag on it, nothing. All I got was a bill of sale. I've looked everywhere on this frame and cannot find a VIN number anywhere. The only thing I can even find is the numbers and labeling for what ball size to use. <laughs> That's it. So it's been a definite guessing game. Um, the aluminum framing on those windows, it looks like they repaired it at some point by just drilling a bunch of more screws in it rather than sealing it. There's no ceiling around those frames. There's no ceiling anywhere. Um, except for where that aluminum trim piece is that goes around the top. So everything has to be sealed. Everything has to be ground down to the bare metal anywhere any seal is going to go on. You know, I've been trying to take a whole bunch of different things and salves and, you know, my grandmother's very homeopathic, so she's got all kinds of remedies. She's 90 years old, so, you know, she's, she's the one I listen to if I need something, but even anything I've been trying, I'm not getting any relief because there's tearing going on in the tendons. Um, it's soft tissue damage. They're going to have to go in and fix. There's just no getting around it anymore. I've got a bone spur on the left that's causing a problem and a tear on the right, so... Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> Sads don't fix bone spurs. <laughs> don't mind my dad every once in a while. He walks by because he doesn't care that the camera's rolling and he has a tendency to walk in front of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> he comes out every once in a while to work on what he's got going on right now. I was hoping I, I could go and get the uh, light set and get it all wired in before I start working on putting the floor back in, but I don't think that's going to happen today either. I'm just having too much trouble getting those rivets popped out. Excuse me. I just took a swig of that energy drink. So the other thing I wanted to look at, though, I'm having trouble getting some of these rivets out. Oh, 
the ones on the right are popping out. It's the ones on the left that seem to be stuck. Oh, no, it is coming out. It just, it's hanging on for dear life, but I can see where they're broke. So it should pop out here in the next few smacks, but it's starting to bend. It's starting to bend it a little bit from smacking them so hard trying to get them out. But I can't drill more holes in it or it's going to weaken these C channels that are in here. Some of these welds are just awful. Pockets and pits and... Looks like they had the apprentice working on it or something. Oh yeah, and then this side's got all that old, old seal they just shoved in there hoping it would fix the problem rather than drilling new screws in like it needed. So I'm gonna have to come in here and try and pry that out. Otherwise the metal's not gonna seat all the way down. Um, I'm going to walk you guys back to the back of it again. I don't know how good the lighting will be, but at least then you guys can kind of see where I'm working. I'll stick you in here like that. At least the door will protect it from the dog's plan. <laughs> Try and see if I can get this stuff out of here. Feels like it wants to come out. Of course, this is over my head, so my shoulder's like, no, we can't do this. There. See, this is that old, old caulking or something that they put up in there at some point that um, didn't do anything for fixing the leak because they didn't put any screws in the hole where it needed it. But that's the prize. That's pretty easy. Hopefully, I can get it all knocked out of there real quick. I think this is somebody's in a hurry seal job that they did do it. Come on. <sighs> Everything's at snail pace right now. Just only so much I can do at a time. But I figure, what the hell, you know, I complain about it enough, why don't I let you guys see what I'm talking about. See all of these? These are all, well, you might not be able to see from back there, but these are all those pop rivets, but these are the smash-in style, so they're supposed to seat completely tight, and they've missed them. It's not even through the frame right here, and I think... All of this side is actually missing, and that's part of the reason they put that caulking in there as they were trying to seal where they did fall out. Inefficient fix. Come on, get out of there. So this is why normally I record everything and I put it in hyperlapse so you guys don't have to see how slow I actually have to do things. I feel like I'm never working fast enough. And because I talk to myself too much. <laughs> I'm a very lonely person. <laughs> To talk to myself constantly. <laughs> nope. Why would you put tack welds on all the screws? Seriously. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the grinder and maybe get those out that way. These are so old.
Yeah, those new screws my dad gave me are definitely going to work. They're a little long sticking out, but it's okay. So this whole thing is going to be covered in um, hog fencing when I get that far. Because <laughs> the hog fencing, I can actually tack weld it straight to the frame that I just put in, which will hold its shape really, really well. And then if it's bent up into the frame pieces okay. here, it'll actually help with all of the pr upward pressure that I need to keep it so that the water's shedding off. Because there's another dent I noticed here. I can't do that. Um, but there's a dent right here that I'm going to have to use the load locks to try and push that up. Uh, I need to get back up on top and smack it around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> A nice project for today. And overcast is actually keeping it comfortable just to have an overshirt on, which is nice. I'm gonna leave this down here though. Oh, grab my drink. I don't need to do the conversion into a camper or anything because. That'd be what that's for. Not camping, living, but I don't live in it right now. I'm here with family. Well, I get my shoulders looked at, taken care of, and then I can finally go back to work after I get healed, hopefully. <sighs> you know, you go from working 70 hour weeks to nothing's pretty hard to get used to. because I was a commercial truck driver before the mass layoffs happened. And then the week after the layoff happened, I thought I'd have to go get surgery because they can't do the cortisone shots anymore. So it's been this very long grown out waiting process ever since. So I'll pick projects that I can try and get a little accomplished at a time. And this, this one should come out now because I just looked and they're sticking out. So they're just hanging on for dear life. Phone is way down there. I'm not reading comments right now. I pop down periodically and get caught up, but that's it. I do everything by myself, so I can't keep it up here with me because the vibration is going to knock the stand off because it's a big rounded top trailer. <laughs> Some of these rivets are being very uncooperative. Where's my chisel? Where's my chisel. <sighs> Boing. Boing. See, the tops come off of them. <laughs> My own, I still can't get these ones out. They're driving me nuts because I looked on the inside and I can see that they're, you know, they've been raised and separated. Whoa, they're hanging on for dear life. Did you get your uh, bracket figured out? Comes out, he's like, you me. <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
fingers will fit my ass. It's like four inches too long. And then the place where you put the lock pin onto the hook of the back of the tractor, it actually, um, the pin diameter is 716, but it's a half inch piece of steel. So he's got to redesign the plate to move the hook because the space that the universal fit left is too narrow for the hook to fit through. So we had to completely redesign that whole hitch just to get it to work on our tractor. <sighs> I'm going to make a crater in this dang thing before it even lets go. I have to at least get all of the, sorry, get all of my, uh, Worst ones replaced with these screws. Do the pressure washing. And then I'll we'll have to wait for a couple of days for it to dry. Come back out here with the seal tape. At least these ones where it was still, they're not rusted yet. These aren't, well, that one's lifted right there too. Because the little rivet heads are lifted slightly from vibrating, you know, so they, the metal has shrank in and expanded enough times that it leaves a little bit of a gap underneath it, which is why a lot of these are rusted out, because the water was able to get under them. And uh, if I can see the separation, I've got to punch them out and put the screws in before I can do the pressure washing, because I don't want too much water to get up under there. It's going to take that much longer for it to dry so that I can put the seals on. Finally! That one's been driving me nuts! How about this one? God, some of these are just terrible. Get this one put in before I get too far ahead of myself anyway. Keeps it all buttered up tight. Smack the crap out of the next one. So the pattern of the dents before I put the new supports in, because I had to weld in the rebar, it looks like uh, at some point it had a tree branch, at least, land on it, because all of the denting kind of went off on a diagonal pattern. So it looks like it had at least one big branch with two other smaller branches where it landed strategically in one one solid direction going diagonal so that's where this one came from there's another dent i gotta use the load lock to push that back up to see if it'll even hold its shape anymore it might just live like that forever now but i really wanted this trailer because it's not fiber loss <laughs> i can weld on it and i can beat the hell out of it and old so it takes to being punished a lot better than a fiberglass trailer would. Ooh, that was my hand. Hey! Settle down! Dogs. Quit ganging up on the puppy. You. I am so tired of banging on that single friggin' rivet that just doesn't want to cooperate. I'm going to move somewhere else. I'm stuck in the same spot. Go over here. I gotta get these off.